where we're going is uh, it's basically the Paula pegmatite. Now, a, a pegmatite is a is a it's a kind of a granite that has really huge crystals. So where we're going to be going, we're going to be seeing huge, maybe even three foot long, giant crystals, and that's formed in a granite. On that side, there's a volcano, and this volcano. Uh, it's called Santiago Peak. And the volcano erupted actually around the time of the Jurassic period. And then shortly thereafter, we have lava coming up here, but deep below, during the time of the Cretaceous, like 70 million years ago, we had, well, we had something like T-Rex. So we had T-Rex. Any other dinosaurs that were around during the time of... That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah. And there's also Triceratops. Little triceratops. So while these guys were walking around, doing their dinosaur thing, and a volcano in the background, and um, deep underground, the pegmatite was forming. And so it was... Uh, it was basically kind of a lava, but when it's underground, it cools really slowly. And when something cools slowly, the crystals begin to grow. And so that's what, uh, that's what actually happens. And in this case, the crystals really took their time. Crystals that are, I mean, quartz crystals that will be literally two or three feet long. And really amazing things. And you only get that in certain conditions. And this is one of the very rare conditions, maybe only three places on Earth, do you have this kind of area. What's amazing about this site is you can find so many different kinds of crystals. We have smoky quartz, which is kind of like quartz. Here's a nice piece of quartz. Really That's beautiful. Very Isn't that fantastic? And if it has a little bit of radioactive uh, radioactive elements, it becomes smoky. Isn't that wild that smoky quartz is made out of radioactive uh, elements in the quartz? And then we have, let's see, black tourmaline, which is which is a, a more common, and so you want to get nice big chunks of it. It's great for negativity. It repels negativity. But it, apparently it's also really good for you know, electromagnetic fields. So, you know, I'm wearing one. I don't know. It's like, get the rock that makes you feel good. Whatever. Then we have uh, aquamarine. Uh, Terry is actually wearing a nice piece of aquamarine. But, yeah. Really, yeah. and this is the uh, okay. <laughs> Take a picture of the sparkly. So this is that lithium mica that I was talking about. It's really beautiful stuff. Lithium is something that you, it's a, they make it into a medicine that makes you really cool. So if, you're, if your angst is just chew on this, thing. like Ted Turner, don't chew on the rocks, kids. Okay, so yeah. Uraninite. Uraninite is a uranium ore. Uranium is where we get radioactivity, exactly. So don't chew on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't eat the rocks. And this is something called Clevelandite. It's a it's a kind of feldspar and it's uh, yeah. the, this is kunzite. It's purple kunzite. And the purple in here is also caused from a little bit of lithium. But they make You'll, you'll see a lot of jewelry made out of this stuff. Right? What's great about muscovite mica is it, uh, you can use it as makeup. See how it flakes? You can just scrape off a little bit of it. Oh, that's <laughs> nope. But hey, man. So, maybe it better, looks better on girls. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, any other questions before we head on to the next, to the mine itself? All right. Let's rock. Okay, here's Junko digging in the dirt. Dig, dig Junko, what have you found? Uh, nothing. Oh. Oh. Nothing, she didn't find anything except for that. Wow. Yeah, gee. <laughs> so, off we go. I'm digging here and there's a perfect little sliver of kunzite right there. Fantastic gem quality. 
off we go. What do you think? Good? Awesome. We'll do a little quick interview. How's it going? Awesome. Awesome. Great. Yay. Ryuma, what do you got? Anything? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, Anything oh my god. Oh, another one. Oh, another one. Gee. <laughs> look, look, look. Hey. Show me, show me. Hang on. Oh, beautiful. That is one fantastic aquamarine. And then a baby butt, one. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I'm still kicking what? your butt right now. Okay, <laughs> okay that one's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Incredible. What is this? Now that is, um, huh? that's pink clay and a little rubellite tourmaline oh. on a very nice piece of quartz. Oh. It's a keeper. Emily, how's it going? Is this anything? That is another beautiful, oh. You have a uh, watermelon tourmaline Where? right there in the rock. Oh, in the rock. Hold on, let me show this. Right there, you've got a, got a rim of really dark and then a pink inside. That's definitely a keeper, and it's in a quartz crystal. Cool. Awesome. Let's see. Great. How's it going, Ellen? Fine. What have you found so far? Ooh, beautiful, fantastic kunzites. A wonderful little piece of lapidolite. Excellent. <laughs> What do you got? What do you got? In this batch or in my little in your cup of box. folders? Yeah. Oh, let's see. What do we got? Oh man, aquamarine galore, kunzites, fantastic. <laughs> Ron Schmidling, paleontologist, into the mound. And here's a beautiful little praying mantis. Nature is here in the ocean view mine. <laughs> hey dude, how's it going? What do you think, Mariah? Oh, it's cute. <laughs> totally it's cute. He's been hanging with me the whole, day, the whole time here. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs>